25. Y'all watch Gilmore Girls or something, that's right. 25,000 people, 25,000 are expected at the Minneapolis Convention Center this weekend for the first ever Galaxy Con, br bringing together some of your favorite superheroes and stars to Minneapolis. Here to talk about Galaxy Con from Guardians of the Galaxy and Gilmore Girls, Sean Gunn, everybody. <laughs> okay. Hello. It's a great crowd. The crew is going to laugh because they know what I'm going to say. I'm going to start with this. We always joke here on the show, we've had every type of star, singer, whatever, Academy Award winner, whatever. I can always tell how beloved a person is by how many staff members from other departments come down like feeding birds uh, down mm. to our level where, the, where we do the show. Yeah. Can I tell you, you have amassed hysteria out in our building. <laughs> Women I from... Was... Women from departments I didn't even know we had here uh -huh. are here freaking out. They're like, no, you're going to do a satellite interview, <laughs> right? And I go, no, he's physically <laughs> in. They're lining up. We won't let them in. I, was, I mean, yeah. I was pecked over by your birds backstage. I bet you sure. were. Uh, yeah. Gosh, I didn't expect a gap. <laughs> I know. I, I'm speaking metaphorically, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was... Uh, it was uh, it was great. I um, it, there's something about the the cult of Kirk, I guess. Yeah. That, uh, well, that people enjoy. Let's start there. I always I, I I'm always fascinated by what happens on the outside of the actual work, and what I mean by that mm -hmm. is you do you do Gilmore Girls, you do a season, you're so busy doing 12, 14 hour days. When did it hit you? that the show had hit and it was bigger than you expected it to be? Were you at a mall? Were you at a, a burger place? I mean, what? what? I think I, I just, you know, at some point in the process, when I started Gilmore Girls, I didn't know that I was going to be on the show for seven years. I yeah. thought I was doing one and done, and then I was going to come back and do a couple more. And then, and for the first couple of years that the show was on, I would bump into people and I'd say, yeah, I've been doing the show. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know, Ed, or I haven't seen you or whatever it was. And it, wa and, and it wasn't until a few years in that people started yelling Kirk at me across the, <laughs> the street or I'd go to the mall and I'd hear, Kirk. Um, I was like, I think people are watching this show now. Yeah. Um, but it took a little bit. But yeah, and then it just kind of uh, steamrolled. Well, so then you're in, involved in that, which I would consider Gilmore Girls a pop culture thing. And then you're in a very, very small independent film called Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny. Little indie. Little indie. Yeah. Not a uh, small budget. Yeah, they put a Kickstarter together. And, That's uh, right. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And you had dual role. You, you had dual roles that people may not realize. You're Craglin, and then you're also. You did the stop motion for Rocket. Yeah, what I do. The I, raccoon, everybody. Yeah, you that's watch right. The movies, yeah. That's right. I uh, I tapped into some of my uh, theater school days and acting like an animal. But I I, uh, <laughs> I I I what I do is I play Rocket on set. So essentially, I'm there to help the other actors um, put the scene together, and then the visual effects team uses uh, some of my movements, my my hand and my my, my hands and face, particularly when they're animating the character. Is that, I, I, we've seen, now we're so versed on behind the scenes stuff as just consumers. We've probably seen a video of actors like Lupita Nyong'o uh, for mm -hmm. Force Awakens with the dots all over their head. Is it a comfortable process? <laughs> um, well, our process, every, every character is a little different. And our process for Rocket is a little less intrusive. I'm not wearing the dots all over my face. Fortunately, it's really just kind of me and then they, they use my acting as as uh, as reference, um, but we're, we're getting used to it, you know. And from doing two Guardians movies and then also doing two Avengers movies, it's actors are really learning how to deal with all of the visual effects that are just a necessary part of delivering a story these days. I was hearing Paul Rudd on Howard Stern talk about how when y'all he was talking about Endgame, he's like, oh, it's one thing to be on the set. He's like, because you're literally surrounded by nothing but green, and you're responding to a pumpkin mm -hmm. that's painted green, and it's supposed to be an enemy. He's like, so really, even though you're in the movie, the first time you actually see the movie is when we do. What is that experience like for you to be like, okay, 
I'm performing rocket with dots on my head, but <laughs> then, oh, that's how, what, how they bring it to life. Yeah, it's a, that's the most fun thing about going to the premieres of those movies is that there's so much that I haven't actually seen yet that I get to watch for the first time when, uh, when we do those movies. But, you know, the, I got to say, though, it's a testament to the, how great the, the directors are. You know, my brother James for Guardians and the Russo brothers for the Avengers movies. They do such a good job of, of painting the picture for the actors so that we know when we get to set what we're stepping into and what, what the sort of vision for, the, for each scene looks like. Yeah, and if you missed the reference, if you're not a, just a diehard nerd like me, uh, Sean's brother James is the great James Gunn who directed <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. First to know that I've started a new business. It's a rideshare business. I call it Uber. Oh, there's already an Uber, Kirk. No, not Uber. Uber. Three O's instead of a U. Okay, but it's a... Uber. Right, but it's this Uber. It's a service where people can request a ride, and I will come and pick them up. Like Uber. Except it's Uber. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Kirk, people use an app to call a car. I have no app. How did they get a car? They call my mother, and then she calls me, and I find a car, and I pick them right up. So it's a much worse version of Uber. And it's pronounced Uber. Stop making that sound. All right, well. So good. Uber. That's our special guest today, Sean Gunn, playing the iconic character, Kirk, on the hit show Gilmore Girls. Uber. Oh, yeah. I, we were talking during the break, and this kind of surprised me. When you're in a grocery store, when you're walking down the street, between Guardians, and we're going to talk about Suicide Squad too, Suicide and Gilmore, what do you get asked about the most still? Gilmore Girls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I do. What do you think it is about that show? Is it the writing? Is it the cast? Right time? Right place? I think there's something about the town of Stars Hollow, where the show is set, that people kind of wish they could live in a world that felt so simple and where, you know, your, your neighbors really felt like a community. I think people miss that more than ever, and that's what they respond to the most. I, I think you're right. A communal, communal experience. So we talked about Guardians and Gilmore, and then also, I mean, if that's not enough, uh, you're also in Suicide Squad. Uh, we're in, and now, right there, we're looking on, on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Right there, yeah. The, 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 you guys are filming part two now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Weren't you just in New Zealand? I was. I was in New Zealand for a convention. And before that, I was in Atlanta doing, uh, doing Suicide Squad. And, and it's, of course, it's, it's the nature of the business now where, unfortunately, I can say that I was working on Suicide Squad and absolutely nothing else about the project. I, exactly. Um, <laughs> and I, believe me. And I, audience, it's I know okay. better. I, have a th I can't ask anything because, it's, yeah. You, yeah, it's going to be awesome, though. I can say that. It yeah. is really, really great. Is yeah. that... <laughs> Our, let, let me see if, and I, I'm not doing trickery because I respect, but let me see if I can ask you this. Do they give you, is it true, do they only give you, like, your pages of script and that's it? On, uh, fortunately, on Suicide Squad, I was able to read the whole thing, but that happens. That was certainly my experience with the Avengers movies. So that, that, that does happen from time to time. You only get the pages that you're in. Yes. And then they immediately take it from you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, the directors will usually answer any questions you have about, yeah. about what's going on. That, that's so. It you, can be weird, yeah. I know, yes. Yeah. Are you, so do people bother you in your real life, like your real family and friends? Do they know or do they... Like if you're, you know, having a cocktail or something and they're like, hey, just tell me what happens in act two. That's what I have to be careful of, particularly if I'm on the road, you know, and, and doing conventions like what I'm doing this weekend. Uh, yeah, I can't have uh, I can't have one or two too many cocktails in the bar. That's somebody right. Might, somebody might pry some some information loose that I. And the next thing you know, it's on Twitter. Right. It's on Twitter. So yeah, you're doing. You're, you said you were doing a convention in New Zealand and now uh, yes. GalaxyCon. 25,000 people, is that overwhelming? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's very yeah. cool. It's like I, I love, it's the best thing about going and, and, and you know, coming to cities like Minneapolis and doing conventions, you just get all these fans who are so, uh, who are, who are so into their particular fandom and yeah. people love the stuff that they love and to be able to, to meet those fans one-on-one -on -one and get feedback from them and, and hear from them, it's really one of the coolest parts of my job. Well, what we're, yeah. Well, 
we have devised a back way out of our building so you can avoid, because outside that door right there is 15,000 employees that want to meet you. <laughs> so we're going to usher you through the back. Give it up for Sean Gunn, everybody. Galaxy Con, this week at the Minneapolis Convention Center. For a list of who will be in attendance, head to minneapolis.galaxycon.com.